Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to MTB Over 40, my name is Bobby. Thanks for checking out this video. What are we gonna talk about today? Well, we're gonna talk about gear, all kinds of gear. I'm not talking about like equipment or things on your bike or things like that. No, we're gonna talk about what you wear on you on the bike, okay? So we're gonna talk about shoes, we're gonna talk about helmets, and we're gonna talk about gloves. Why am I gonna talk about all these things? Well, I've, I've been riding for several months and I've noticed some things that I needed to upgrade, things that I've already had and things that I wanted to improve and, and improve on my ride and things that I thought would help. So the way I feel, the way it's protecting me, all those kinds of things, I, I've realized that sometimes you just need to upgrade from you know what you first initially bought to something else something better or something different. So that's what this video is about. My experience and what I decided to upgrade on so far. Okay, so again, all this is a journey for me, all this I'm learning. So well, you know, in six months, a year, I might be wearing something different or using something different. So who knows? But anyway, so let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about are shoes. Now, originally, when I first started riding, I started using Merrell's. These are great shoes. I've had already had them when I started riding, and what I learned from other people and listening to what other people had talked about for shoes, you wanted a, f a flat, kind of a flat shoe, a grippy shoe, and something that is gonna be comfortable on your foot. And I, I've been using Merrell's for years. I love Merrell's, and I've had these. These are kind of uh, minimalistic shoes. Uh, there's It's a zero rise shoe, has pretty good grip on it, and so I thought this would be a great shoe to start using ride. And they were, they were really good. Felt good on them, I, I, breathability. Of course, I started riding in the spring and summer. And so that was really important for me. But I started to notice that my feet weren't really sticking to the pedals. I had upgraded pedals. When I bought my Fazari, it had the, the race face chesters. And so even with those spikes in them, I started to notice that my foot or feet, I should say, were, were starting to slip. I looked at what everybody else was wearing and what were they wearing? Well, they were either riding 510s, which are these, or ride concepts. I looked at both. I looked at the 510s, these are the free riders, and I looked at the ride concepts and I really wanted the ride concepts. I really loved what they were doing with their shoes. I loved the looks of them. I thought those would work just as well as the 510s. The only problem was you couldn't get them. Now, the 510s aren't bad. It's what's been the mainstay of biking shoes. Everybody that I know has them. I'm still breaking them in. I've only had them for about a month now. There's good and bads. I've put them through the test. I've, I've you know, they've, I've had rocks hit my toes already. <laughs> they really stick to the pedals. I will say that this is, this is, you know, a really sticky sole. Once they're on, they don't come off. And so I think it was a, a, a definitely a good upgrade. The only thing I don't like about these is I'm used to shoes that have a little bit wider toe box and very roomy. Um, and these, as you can tell, are very narrow at the toes. And so my feet don't get to, my toes don't get spread out as much as I'd, I'd like. And so sometimes I will you know, have a little bit of foot pain, especially on long rides. And that's what's causing me to maybe think that I might want to try a different shoe sooner or later. Now, what I've started doing to kind of help with that is loosening the laces. As you know, your feet swell when you get hot and you exercise, so your feet are going to expand inside the shoe. So I've started doing that. I've noticed a little bit of change, but it's a little bit difficult to compare because some of the times that I've had foot pain were on really long trails. I just completed an enduro and, you know, I started to have some, some numbness and some foot pain. And so I don't have trails like that around here. So it's kind of hard to compare. These shoes, you know, they're, they run, you know, over a hundred dollars. And so, you know, it's an added expense and, I, and that's okay. You know, with the Merrells, I'm used to spending about the same amount of money. So it's not really the, the cost expense. But, um, but if you're gonna spend that kind of money, you really want the shoe to fit really well on your feet. You want your feet to be comfortable. And so 
the jury's still out, but I will say that they perform like they should. The grip is great. The protection is really good. My feet feel solid inside of them. If you're thinking about upgrading, if you're just wearing regular shoes, uh, regular tennis shoes, uh, I've seen people wearing Nikes. I've seen people wearing Vans. I've seen people, you know, wearing all kinds of uh, footwear when they're riding their bikes. And you notice you're slipping and you're not getting the traction you want. I think it's definitely worth the money to check out shoes like these, like Five Tens or Ride Concepts or any other kind of uh, manufacturer that that makes bicycle shoes for for mountain biking. So. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about are helmets. Now, the first helmet I bought was this Giro. It's a convertible or half shell, however you wanna call them. And it has served me well. A little, sorry for the little bit of dirt there. I didn't hit the ground, my helmet hit the ground. I started with the Giro and it's, it's been a great helmet. It's great to start on when you're just doing kind of all mountain trail riding, nothing too aggressive. And it served me well. It's it's got a lot of holes in it and slots, and so you know, you know, like I said, I started riding the spring and summer, and so you sweat a lot. And this provided a lot of good good ventilation, and it served me well. But as I started to progress, I started to notice that I'm going faster. I'm hitting more features. I was seeing people really eat the dirt around me on the trails that I was riding. So I decided to upgrade to a full face. This is an IXS trigger. It's very light. It, again, just like the Giro, it, it has lots of portholes, lots of ways for ventilation. It has great inside padding, cheek pads. I love the magnetic uh, chin strap. As you see, I've got my my GoPro Hero 9 here already mounted. I didn't want to take it off for the video because I love this position and I don't want to mess it up. So I, I just haven't had time to mark it yet. So anyway, um, which brings to me the point that it's got a good opening for if you do chin mount uh, photography or sorry, chin mount video with your action camera, it's, it's got a great place for that, which is good. Uh, it's got this nice visor, which is it can move up. So if you're wearing goggles, you can put your goggles here. And yeah, it's just a, it's got an adjustable head tension, whatever you want to call that. Uh, it works well. The Giro does too. It has one of those as well. Um, so it's just like the Giro. It has that, that feature. And I just, I love it. It's not a MIPS helmet, but for the price, you just couldn't beat it. it I believe it cost me $260, $260. And for what you get, it's just it's just a really nice helmet. It gives me the added protection of having this protection around my chin, around my jaw, and it comes down a little bit further around your head, to the back of the head. So if I take a fall, I'm really confident that this is gonna help. Like I said, I don't think you really need it if you're just doing trail riding, uh, only if you're starting to progress. And I'm sure you're going to eventually, if you haven't already, you definitely want to check, check out a full face helmet. The last thing I want to talk about are gloves. Now, I've already tried to do this video once last week. And when I started to edit it, it was not good. I had done a horrible job at speaking. There was a lot of us. I was losing my thought and things like that. So I only have the new gloves I got. I don't have the old gloves that I used to have because I returned them. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the old video and I'm gonna talk over that as I show you what I used to have. These were the Troy Lee Design Air Gloves and I really liked them at first. They were comfortable, they were light, they had the grip where I needed it, after riding for some time, it didn't even feel like I was wearing the gloves. All was good until they started falling apart. They started falling apart within about three months after I had them. And I thought that was no good. I needed a pair of gloves that were gonna last. And so I returned those gloves and I decided to go with Tasco. 
And these Tosco gloves are awesome. I love them. The difference are, one, there's no Velcro strap. The TLDs had a Velcro strap. It was okay. I didn't mind the Velcro strap. But, you know, after a while, that adhesiveness to each other, if, if you want to call it that, it was not holding strong. And I just decided that, you know, I want to go with a, a pair of gloves that I don't have the Velcro straps. I don't want to have to worry about it. I don't want to have to worry about dirt getting in the Velcro and whatever else that can get in there. And so the Tosco gloves really fit the bill. They're still very light. They've got the grips in the right places. And the other cool thing is after wearing them for only a few minutes, I can use my smartphone. Now with the Air, the TLD Airs, I, sometimes I could and sometimes I couldn't. I didn't really understand it. I didn't understand why that was the case. I wanted a pair of gloves that were just gonna work, really. And so the Toscos I really like. I love all the designs that they have. I decided to go with the camos because I've got a little camo action going on on my top bar and wanted that to match. But all around, I love them. Again, after riding for a little bit, I don't even feel like they're there. Uh, they're nice and cool and they have good grip and that's what I love the most. And so kudos to Tasco for the gloves. I really love them and hope to buy their cool weather gloves because it's fall and it's starting to get a little cool out there. So I might wanna consider those. These are just the items that I've been experimenting with. I'm sure you have experiences that fit for you. Feel free to leave me a comment about what you think about what you're wearing. Would love to know. Also, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and hit that bell notification because that lets you know when I've got a new video coming out. Hope you enjoyed the video and until the next time, stay safe and keep on riding. <laughs>